homie Big Mike getting that bed right. You gotta get it right. That's the only way. That's the only way. It's your boy Jay, and as always, I am not making too much noise. So y'all see, I'm about to get ready to haul some hot rod. Put down that black gold today. But anyways, I just oh, no, I just want to address to y'all yeah, why is it why is it that I work? Yeah, go get loaded, well, I think you said about ten times. Now, why is it that I work for a broker when I can potentially make more money working directly through a company or even better yet brokering trucks myself why settle for less when I can possibly make more and there's a specific reasoning behind that okay Check it out, we out here. We out here. Personally, it's all about job security for your boy. It's all about job security. So, I pretty much started off the homie Big Mike getting that bed right. You gotta get it right, that's the only way. That's the only way. So your boy is back. And please excuse that. I actually, this is my second load, but I had received a very important phone call pertaining to the renewal of my commercial insurance. So I had to take that before I got out to the road that we are paving because I have no reception out there. No reception. So getting back to the subject on why your boy chooses to work underneath the broker well I'm just gonna be keeping it real with you all I'm gonna keep it real and I might save some of you all from a lot of stress headache and missing out on money itself it's a very dangerous game in this dump truck business people there are a lot of money hungry crooks that have no problem with holding your money for an, an excessive amount of time, whether it's them drawing interest off of your money or using it for personal use. And personally, you know, I I have no, no time for those kind of games. When it comes to money, I don't play, as should nobody right you now we all need money to, to support our livelihoods and for someone else to hold on to your money for a unknown period of time it's just wrong so I, I chose to play it safe I decided to work for the same underneath the same broker as a company that I brought this truck from. In other words, I pretty much started where 
I left off as a company driver because the broker that I currently work for he's a good guy he has a lot of steady work that is very convenient being that most of it is within a 35 mile radius from where I keep the truck parked it just makes it so practical and not only that but it's enough work to keep me occupied throughout the year at least between the months of mid-April through late the mid, mid to late December right before Christmas time and I need that work because that's a set that's a guarantee I won't say guarantee but I know for the most part that I'm going to get anywhere between 70 to 80 hours a week and that's including if it rains because by working day and night in which we pave DOT roads by the hour this is our hourly right it helps to compensate for those rainy days Okay. and we tend to work 11 shifts a week so in the daytime we work Monday through Saturday and at night we work either Sunday through Thursday or Monday through Friday and at night sometimes we are getting between anywhere between 10 to 11 hours per shift and being that we haul last fault we tend to sit a lot which is good as well And I hope he doesn't come distract me right now. I'm trying to give you all that footage. I don't have any time for distractions. Hold on, hold on. I might have to. I'll get back with you all. Your boy's back. He didn't want anything. But yeah, it just all works out. It's all about job security for your boy. And he does take 10% if you want to receive your money weekly. But on the other hand, if you choose to want it every two weeks or bi-monthly well let's reduce the half of that which is five percent but the percentage is, I mean it's a factor but I don't really care about that I'm more worried about knowing that I can get my money at least every two weeks that's what your boy is more concerned about so I know where my money is I know he has enough work to keep me busy and he has a huge cash flow he secured and established okay he actually pays us out of his personal money at times because on certain jobs he only he gets paid every 30 days which is another reason why he takes 10 percent if we want to get our money weekly and i can understand that you know it, it makes sense but some of these brokers out here i tell you i mean <laughs> they'll screw you over in a heartbeat you might not get your money until 90 days and that sometimes you might not never see your money you know it's, it's a hard play game out here that's why i choose to play it safe okay and this is why you know i i choose to work for him and not to run directly through a company it, it's that yeah i can run directly through a company but they might not have enough work to keep me occupied throughout the year and also being that I only have one truck makes me very vulnerable. You know, I'm not able to supply or guarantee a company more than one truck at a time. Therefore, a, you know, another independent that has multiple trucks can just come in and replace me at any given time. And I might not be able to get back with this particular broker right away because there are so many trucks in line waiting to run underneath them right now so I'm, 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 try, I'm trying to hold my spot you know but look at check this out check out this line right here I'm back for my second load and I've been sitting here for like 40 minutes yeah 40 minutes that's why I love pulling asphalt by the hour but yeah getting back to the topic I can run and there are some you know some uh, companies that I can make a lot, you know, if I run directly through, there's no percentage taken out, right? But their work is so far away, you know? When it's all said and done, I'm gonna be burning more money and fuel to get to a job site versus, you know, I might make a little bit less money here, but everything is just more, it's more practical and convenient. It has to make sense has to make sense you 
know, it's all about job security, knowing that I have work, that I'm going to get paid on time and not get screwed over. I mean, my bills come out. Well, my, my truck payment, insurance, and fuel bill comes out monthly. And I pay myself weekly. You know, so I can't afford to wait any more than two weeks to receive the hard earned money that I work for. You know, you got some people that, you know, they're gonna, I've been, I got people trying to deter or discourage me by telling me that I can work for this person and that person. But I'm not taking that risk. <laughs> I am not about to get out here and get connected with, you know, a company, a broker, establishment that can potentially screw me over in the long run. I mean, my, my dad has been working with this particular broker for the last decade. Yeah, my dad used to run trucks and broker trucks himself, but he'll tell you that's a big candidate which is why I choose not to bro broker trucks. So when you broker trucks, you, <laughs> let me explain this to you all. It, it sounds good because you are making the percentage off of it, right? It sounds good on paper until you, until you find out that you are, are held responsible to a much higher standard. And by that, when trucks are constantly laid or if a truck unfortunately you know un breaks down then the foreman are going to be holding you responsible and liable for having a you know a replacement truck available right then and there or booting a truck that's constantly late they, they are looking at you all eyes are on you and I, I don't want that kind of responsibility, especially over some drivers that I don't really have any authority over because, you know, some companies might not do things the way that I would want to, you know, so I, I just don't want those issues. I have no time to babysit, no time for babysitting. You know, drivers all have their distinct personalities and I don't want to have to put up with it, you know. Yeah, you might make a, your percentage, you might make your extra money running trucks, but it's so much you have to put up with. And not only that, but paperwork. <laughs> you know, you got to make sure that your, your the paperwork is turned in in a prompt manner, meaning that you're going to have companies that might submit that paperwork in late, but still want to get paid on time. It doesn't work that way doesn't work that way okay in addition a lot of contractors like to pay monthly or at least every 30 days whereas a lot of independent dump truck owners and operators want to receive their money at least every two weeks I don't have the cash flow to pay independence out of my personal money I'm not established I can barely afford to pay myself at times let alone pay others so I, you know, I just don't want to be put in that kind of predicament where I might gain a bad rap and image. You know, my, my reputation and loyalty is more important than money and greed. You know? And that's the truth. That's the honest truth because when you leave this earth, the money is still going to be here. But it's all about how you want to be remembered while you are going. What kind of imprint do you want to leave behind? That's why my loyalty and reputation is way more valuable than that of greed and trying to make an extra dollar. Not everyone is in the same financial situation. So, you know, some people might can afford to wait a month, if not longer, at a time to receive their money. But I, on the other hand, by me being 
you know, new to the business. I'm not new to the business. I mean, I drove for seven years, but as an owner operator, I'm still in my first year. Therefore, I can't really afford to take any avoidable risk. Any avoidable risk. I mean, I know a lot. I'm very knowledgeable. But I've seen some of the most knowledgeable people be taken advantage of in this business. <laughs> yes, I have. I've seen it. So the bad thing I can do is play it safe. And that's what I'm going to continue to do by working for this broker because he's been good. He's been good and loyal to me. Why well, turn my back on him? Especially when I know where my money is. It's secured. I worked hard for it. And after every two weeks or a week if I choose to, I know it would be my bank account. And that's that. But with that being said, I'm going to kick back. It's now been an hour since I've been here. So what better way than to just take a little nap. Get ready for the NBA playoffs later on tonight. Let me know who you got. If you watch basketball, let me know who you favor. But again, you're on the way with your boy Jay. I'm out of here. Peace.